Hey guys, it's Crystal Chronic and Lester from Cannabis Weeki. What's going on everybody? And we're here today to hopefully see the biggest joint ever rolled at the Ontario Cannabis Festival in Kitchener. Should be awesome guys, stay tuned, keep it locked. There's gonna be some artists on stage. We're gonna see Danny Raposa on stage. Come on down to Binghamton Park. What's going on everybody? We are here in Kitchener at the Ontario Cannabis Festival. Inside the festival I have happened to bump into Token Lady J. How are you today? I'm, I'm fantastic. It's so, been a great show. Things are going good? Yeah, definitely. So tell the people, what do you got going on right here in your hands? Okay, so this is our most popular product and what it is is a stash bag that is odor blocking. It has carbon fiber built into the liner. Oh. Um, and so when you put your stash in here, your marijuana, you can't smell it from the outside. It also has a lock. Mm. So I have uh, a nine-year-old son. Of course, I don't want him getting into my, my stash. Correct. So I'm able to just lock it up. So it's, very thoughtful. Yeah, and it's great when you're just going away for the weekend. You just put it in your, you know, your overnight bag. Doesn't stink anything up. So you're telling me right now I could smell that and I wouldn't smell any product inside the bag? I'm telling you. You want to try it? I definitely want to try okay. it. You see how confident this lady is? Token Lady J, people. All right. So no, I don't. What? <laughs> Can I smell that now? Yeah. Okay. It works. <laughs> it works. We also have, uh, we have a few other items. We've actually sold out of some things. Our electric grinders were a big hit. But we have an online store, so people can go to the online store and purchase any of these items. So what is the online website? It's www.tokenladyj.com. Gotta love that name, Token Lady J. Very nice. Is there anywhere else on social media they could find you? We're on Instagram and we're on Facebook as well. Token Lady J. Beautiful. So there you have it guys, inside Ontario Cannabis Festival in the city of Kitchener, beautiful Ontario, Canada. This is Lester for Cannabis Wiki, giving you more. See you soon. Say Thanks, bye. bye. Hey guys, it's Crystal Chronic with Cannabis Weeki and I'm here today with Christine from the Pot Exchange. Hi Christine. Hi there. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. And how are you enjoying the festival so far? It's been interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> the first one of its kind I yeah, hear. Yeah. So uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about what brought you out here today? Well, two things brought me out. Um, in 2017 I was diagnosed with a brain tumor, uh, pituitary adenoma. and. Uh, I was prescribed medical marijuana, couldn't afford it. Um, and the stuff I got was not very good. It was really dry and turned to dust pretty much when you touched it. So um, I didn't buy it again. And, and then I read that the government made 186 million in five and a half months. Quite and a I, bit. I got mad. I thought if people like me who are sick can't afford it and the government's making that kind of money, how can I, how can I fix that? How can I get it into the hands of people who need it but can't afford it? So I came up with the idea of the pot exchange and it's, it's a site that's totally based on kindness. Um, it does two things. It connects people who grow with each other because once you've been smoking something a while you become immune to it. Um, they can change it up. They can contact somebody else on my site through the forums and say, hey, I've got, I've got a sativa that is good but it no longer works for me. Who wants to trade? So that at that point, it then becomes a private transaction between two Canadian citizens. Um, uh, they just pay for shipping, no money ever exchanges hands, and, and that's it. That's pretty much... So is the trading perfectly even? So it has to be, say someone sends out seven grams, they receive seven grams? That's or? up to them. That's up to them. It depends how kind the other person wants to be. Um, Really, that's just up to them. They can trade however much they want or however little they want. Or um, Okay, and for what areas? Sorry? For what areas? Is it 
for Ontario, for Canada? Uh, it's No, it's from coast to coast. You can log on. Uh, you can trade with somebody out in BC because they have really good bud. Um, you could trade with somebody in Newfoundland. It doesn't matter where they're from. Everybody just pays for their own shipping. So if you're trading with somebody out in Newfoundland, chances are you're going to trade for the same amount and it's going the same distance so everybody just pays for their own shipping. So everybody just comes out better without it costing them anything. Yeah, that's right, the money stays in your pocket. It doesn't go to the government. It's completely legal because it's just Canadians being kind to each other. Um, the other thing my site does is that um, uh, people can volunteer to be what I call a cannabis hero and that's where um, they grow their four plants, um, they keep what they need but they go back onto the website and donate whatever they don't use to people who need it, people like me who, who are sick and can't afford it. That's amazing. Thank you. That's amazing. And so I know uh, consumers are quite concerned about the exchange of these kinds of products, uh, especially with the strict regulations that we have right now. Um, so what are the legalities surrounding this kind of transaction? So you would send it by secured shipping because that's how cannabis comes to uh, medical users. Um, obviously it's legal to send marijuana through secured shipping because the government does it all the time. Um, other than that, the only legality would be if you tried to charge money for it, which would never happen because my site is a pay it forward site. It's based 100% on kind, the kindness of Canadians. And we are the kindest people on the planet. I mean, we apologize when we walk through a door. So, you know, like... I have to agree with you there. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to share with us here? No, just be no. kind to each other. Yeah. I think we could all use a little bit more of that. So where can consumers, uh, what is your website? It's www.thepodexchange.ca. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. It was so great meeting you and I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you. What's going on everybody? It's Lester from Cannabis Wiki inside the Ontario Cannabis festival in downtown Kitchener, Ontario. Today I think I may have found the one. I am with the CEO of Leafalize. Sir, what's happening? Hey, pleasure to meet you. You too. So tell the people what do you got going on here? Sure, so we're Leafalize. We provide uh, cannabis lab testing for home growers of cannabis. Basically we provide you with a kit. You put your sample inside, register your kit on our website, Got a prepaid shipping label, just drop it into the mail. You can track the entire progress uh, of the whole process online on our website from shipping to the actual testing being done to when your results are available, all in an easy uh, online web portal. That's crazy, you put all this into this little package? Absolutely. So I, I'm a, a grower myself. One of the, the main reasons that I decided to make this company was just I was looking everywhere to find some way to actually test my cannabis. If I'm making edibles or something like that, I want to make sure that I know um, like exactly how much CBD or exactly how much THC is in that brownie or that gummy or, or whatever it is that I'm making. Right, right. Uh, and with, with Leafalize, you can actually do that now. So how would that process work if somebody had a brownie per se? For sure. So basically, if you were have, going to be making brownies, you'd want to use our uh, oil test kit. So this is for, say, you've, you've grown your own cannabis, you want to make brownies, uh, you could make an extract using coconut oil or MCT oil. Right. You would then use our oil uh, test kit. You know exactly how many milligrams are in every milliliter uh, of that oil. Right. And then if you know, for example, that you have 100 milligrams uh, uh, of cannabis in your oil mm -hmm. and you're making 10 brownies, you know that there's exactly 10 milligrams of, of THC in each of those each okay. of those brownies. So you've made the math a little bit simplified. For sure. And then, so this is something that if you're purchasing uh, from uh, an LP or starting in October, if you were going to be purchasing edibles or things like that, right. you're able to know exactly what your dose is going to be. Wow. You know that if you're going to have a gummy, you're going to have uh, however much they say. Now, even if you're growing your own, you can have that same level of precision in your dosing. This is crazy. You're putting the power in people's hands. <laughs> Absolutely. So let me get this right. You just launched today. Just today, yes. So right now we have uh, our potency tests available, but as of the end of this month or early of next month, we're going to have several more tests available. We're going to be starting with a full cannabinoid profile, a terpene profile, a biological contaminant test, as well as a um, seedling gender test. 
That is impressive. So I guess coming from the grower's perspective, you are covering all the bases. Absolutely, yes. I like it, I like it. Um, once again, uh, inside this Ontario Cannabis Festival, I've found a shining star. Uh, definitely look out for Leafalize. Uh, sounds like some serious, serious package that everybody should have. Absolutely. I like it. Lester from Cannabis Wiki, stay tuned for much more. Take it easy. Well, we're here at the Ontario Cannabis Festival in Kitchener at Bingham's Park. We've been waiting for the longest joint. The record is 110 feet. But at this point in time, unfortunately, we have to report there will be no joint. No joint. <laughs> Not even a little one. <laughs> now, we're going to sit around and wait. We're hoping they're a little bit short on the amount that they have to make the world record. So for now, this is Cannabis Wiki. Lester. Crystal Chronic. Signing off and hoping good luck for the Ontario Festival that they will be able to get enough legal cannabis to make it the longest rolled joint in history.